So this is a great example of what we think of as a modified feather, modified as an ornament for use in courtship display. We call these two unusual feathers head wires. They're definitely unlike any other feathers known to exist. They're about twice as long as the body of the bird, and they don't have the normal structure of a typical feather. Instead of having a central shaft, or the rachis, as we call it, with a feather vein on either side, these feathers actually only have structure on one side of the shaft. They have what appears to be plastic-like tabs running down one side. And those are actually the fused parts of a normal feather that have been greatly modified here to give this bird this incredible effect. We don't see this kind of extreme ornamental feather or this kind of extreme modification in most of the birds. It sort of makes the male look like he's got these long antennas. The head wires emanate from behind each eye, and the male can move them around. In some cases, he can push them forward, he can move them to the side, and he can also have them kind of resting, laying across his back. But on his courtship display territory, he really uses these feathers for maximal effect. Now it's important to keep in mind, these feathers are almost a burden to carry around. They actually impose limitations. Unlike all the other feathers on the bird, they aren't helpful for flight. They don't do anything for thermoregulation or keeping warm. They've evolved for no other purpose than as ornaments used to attract the attention of females as potential mates. It's all about their visual presentation. These feathers really underscore what's so incredible about the birds of paradise. That sexual selection by female choice can actually shape and influence the evolution of an oddity like the male king of Saxony bird of paradise. <laughs>